The density of mild steel is 7,850 kilograms per cubic meter. Convert this to pounds per cubic foot. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to start with this unit and work our way across. So I'm going to start with 7850 kg per meter cubed. Okay, and the first thing I do is I say, okay, I want to tackle this kilograms. What do I know about kilograms? I know that one kilogram is 2.205 pounds. Okay, 2.205 pounds. Okay, so that'll take care of kilograms. Kilograms goes away and I have pounds on top. And I like to come up here and put a little check mark. I've got pounds. Now I need cubic feet. What do I know about cubic meters? Well, I know that 1,000 meters makes one kilometer. And because this is cubed, I have to do it three times. So 1,000 meters one kilometer. A thousand meters, one kilometer. And so what I end up with is I end up with meters cubed on top and I end up with kilometers cubed on the bottom. Okay? And this guy is going to cancel with this guy. So if I stopped right now, if I were to stop right now, I have pounds per cubic kilometer, which is an odd unit and you wouldn't use it. Okay, so now what do I know? Well, I want to convert, I want to get this into the English system. I somehow have to get this to feet. And I don't know how many feet are in a kilometer. I don't have a clue. Don't know. But what I do know is I know that um, one kilometer uh, I got my unit backwards there. Uh, one mile. I'll get it right in a second. 1.609 kilometers is equal to one mile. And we're going to do this conversion, guess how many times? You got it, three times. 1.609 kilometers, one mile. Okay, now what happens? We get kilometers cubed, and we get miles cubed. And kilometers cubed cancels out. So right now I have pounds per cubic mile. I don't think that's a good density unit. So now what do we have to do? Now we have to turn this into something we want. Well, we want feet. Well, I know how to turn miles into feet. So I'm going to come down here and finish my problem. So da 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 da. Okay, times, times, and times. What do I know about miles? I know that one mile is 5,280 feet. One mile, 5,280 feet, and one mile. 5,280 feet. So now what happens? I've got miles cubed on the bottom and I've got miles cubed on the top. These guys will cancel. And what do I have on the bottom? I have feet cubed. What did I want on the bottom? I wanted feet cubed. So now, ta-da, I do the math. And when I do the math, I'm going to type, I'm going to show you how I type this in. I'm going to say 7850 times 2.205 times 1,000, times 1,000, times 1,000. Or you can say times 1,000 cubed. That's up to you. Okay? And at this point, I have a massive number. It's humongous. And now I'm going to multiply it by 1.609. So times 1.609, times 1.609, times 1.609. So my three conversions there. And I get an even bigger number. Now, because this is on the bottom, I'm going to divide by 5280. Divide by 5280. And divide by 5280. And I get 489.829 blah, 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 blah. Now, 
go back to my original problem. 7850, this either has three or four significant digits, okay? And depending on where this came from as to whether it would have three or four. Um, this conversion has four significant digits. These conversions are exact, so ignore them. This conversion has four significant digits, and this conversion is exact. So, four, uh, three, uh, let's, let's, this is four, this is four, so four significant digits here, four significant digits here, and this is either three or four. Um, if we assume this had three, then we would round our answer to three. If we assume this had four, then we would round our answer to four. I'm going to assume it has three. Seven, eight, five. I'm going to assume the zero is not significant. Okay? So 489.829, round this to three significant digits. And what I'm saying is round it to the nearest whole number. Okay, round it to the nearest whole number. So 489.8, round it to the nearest whole number, what do you get? 490. And this will be in pounds per cubic foot. 490 pounds per cubic foot. So that's how we do a conversion uh, of a unit like this. There are lots of other ways to do this. Um, do realize that the very first conversion here, instead of turning uh, meters cubed into kilometers, you could turn meters into millimeters. You could turn uh, meters into to miles. You could turn meters into you know, who knows what. So you don't have to do it this way. Um, the fun thing is that if you do it, if you use different conversions from me, but you round to the significant digits in the problem, you'll still end up with 490. Uh, I did this problem three different ways, and one time I came up with 490.14. Uh, this way I came up with 489.8. But when we round it to three significant digits, no matter what we do, we come up with 490. So it's just a fun way to do this problem, um, and I hope you learned something.